First at 10, continuing coverage of a lengthy report. It looks into how the Kalamazoo Department of Public Safety handled these protests and rallies last summer. The focus on four main incidents. First, the May 30th demonstration following the death of George Floyd, where protesters and police in riot gear clashed. Then June 1st, vandalism and looting downtown. And another protest June 2nd, where police deployed tear gas in an effort to break up peaceful protesters breaking curfew. And finally, a Proud Boys rally August 15th where a fight broke out between the white nationalist group and counter protesters. Today's just released report takes a hard look at the choices KDPS made, the public perception and how it's affected the department and what needs to change. Clashes between officers and Black Lives Matter protesters were combative and aggressive, including tear gassing peaceful protesters lying on the ground, a different sight than the approach officers would later take with members of the Proud Boys. The differences in that public safety response outlined in this third party report, detailing how officers kept their distance from the Proud Boys, adding that, quote, the absence of law enforcement at the scene virtually guaranteed a fight would start. And as we know, it did between the Proud Boys and counter protesters. Of the nine arrests that August day, no Proud Boy members were arrested. Meanwhile, counter protesters were cuffed for both assaultive conduct and violations for seemingly minor municipal codes while the Proud Boys didn't even receive a traffic citation. However, we also learned that KDPS did in fact arrest the main catalysts, but could not justify at least a handful of arrests, including a journalist and a legal observer. In the other cases, the arrests were legitimate on legal grounds, but the report says inadvisable. In conclusion, the report found no evidence of malice by the department, noting that realities of last summer were more complicated than some initially believed, writing, quote, KDPS did many things credibly and without a discriminatory motivation and that room for improvement certainly exists. The report also lays out 40 recommendations. A few highlights include revisiting the department's tear gas policy when it comes to crowd control, addressing wide scale lapses in the department's body worn camera policy between May 30th and June 2nd, 2020, considering increased transparency when it comes to use of force or other high profile incidents, as well as communicating with other law enforcement agencies to identify best protest practices, which could be used in the future. Now, if you'd like to read the full report for yourself, it's posted on fox17online.com. The, the firm that put this review together will be presenting its findings next Tuesday. We're also expecting to hear from Kalamazoo city officials. Count on Fox 17 for coverage.